All right, folks, uh, today's lesson is going to be on um, writing the names and formulas of ionic compounds that contain uh, metals that have multiple oxidation states. Um, now, that's a mouthful. Um, I promise you it's um, uh, not actually quite as complicated as it sounds. Um, so first of all, we'll get into um, what multiple oxidation states means. Um, so some metals can have more than one charge, uh, and so chemists often describe uh, these metals as having multiple oxidations or oxidation states. So basically, um, like if we think about iron, for example, um, it can be uh, plus two or plus three. Um, um, and so for that reason, we can say that um, iron has um, a plus two oxidation state or a plus three oxidation state. So typically, these metals are either transition metals or post-transition metals. So iron, for example, is a transition metal. And like I said, it can have a plus 2 or plus 3 charge. Um, and so then for this reason, the name of ionic compounds with elements that have multiple oxidation states will include Roman numerals to indicate the charge of the element. And so we'll kind of uh, go over that a little bit in today's lesson. Um, so not all transition and post-transition metals have multiple oxidation states. Um, so silver, um, that's Ag, only forms a plus one ion. Zinc, Zn, only forms a plus two ion. And aluminum, Al, only forms a plus three ion. Now Al you can get from the Lewis structure, so that one you don't really have to uh, memorize as long as you know how to find the charge of something from uh, the number of valence electrons. So really silver and zinc are going to be the only two that you actually have to know. Um, the only two that you actually have to memorize. Um, and I'm, I'll think about it. I might give you those two on a, um, I might give you those two on like a page when you take your test. Okay, um, so iron two oxide. Let's do an example. We're going to go from that name to writing the formula. So iron is Fe, and we know that it has a plus 2 charge because it's iron 2. So like I said, this Roman numeral tells you the charge. So because it's iron 2, it's going to have a plus 2 charge. Um, oxygen has 6 valence electrons, right? So it'll gain 2 electrons, which means it'll have a minus 2 charge. Plus 2 and minus 2 balance each other out, so the formula for iron 2 oxide is just FeO. Copper nitride, excuse me, copper one nitride. So copper um, has a plus one charge, although really it should just be positive, right? So that's a little typo. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Okay, so that should look better. Um, so copper one is just um, Cu with a positive charge. Nitride, so um, remember that nitrogen has five valence electrons. You get that from the periodic table. So that means it's going to gain three, so it'll have a negative three charge. So we're really going to need three copper atoms to balance out um, the charge of that nitride atom. So the formula for copper one nitride will be Cu3n. Okay, we'll do one more example of going from the name to the formula. This one's zinc phosphide. So remember zinc, even though that one's a transition metal, that's one that you gotta know. So look up above, you should see that zinc has a plus two charge. Um, and then phosphorus, like nitrogen, has five valence electrons. So phosphorus will have a negative three charge. So we're gonna need two zinc atoms and one phosphorus atom because plus two, plus two, and plus two will get us to plus six and minus three and minus three will get us to minus six. And so then those charges will balance out. So it'll be Z3, oh, dang it, made a mistake. Hold on. So it'll be Z, Zn3P2. Um, that'll be the formula. Okay, example four, nickel chloride. Oh, whoops. Well, I kind of gave it away. Well, Ni is nickel, Cl is chloride. But remember that nickel is a transition metal. 
um, nickel has multiple oxidation states. Um, so we're going to have to say what the charge is. Um, so um, chloride, uh, we'll start with the valence structure of chloride. That's got seven valence electrons. So that means it's going to gain one. So chloride has a minus charge. We're looking for the charge of, ne of nickel. Um, and so that's going to be unknown for now. And so look, it's going to be some unknown charge. And then because in our formula we have three chlorides plus three chloride ions, all which have a minus one charge, right? I'm getting that from right here. It's going to add up to equal zero. So in other words, some number plus negative three needs to equal zero. This is like an algebra problem, folks. So we could add three to both sides to solve for this equation, or you could think, what number could I add to negative three to equal zero? Well, that's got to be positive three, right? So this is going to be the, a nickel plus three ion. So this is going to be nickel three chloride. Um, okay, let's do another example. This one is Cr2O3. So we know that Cr is chromium. We know that O is oxide. Um, remember the suffixes for these change to IDE. So you don't write oxygen, you write oxide. Um, this is uh, the Lewis structure for oxygen. We can see it's missing two valence electrons. So it's going to be an oxygen two minus. Um, and we don't know what the charge of chromium is. Um, that's what we're looking for. Okay, and so we've got two times whatever the charge of chromium is plus three times negative two, and that's going to add up to equal zero. Or in other words, I've got two times some number plus negative six equals zero. Well, again, this is going to be an algebra problem, so we'll add six over, and then we'll divide by two. And I'll show this in class. I just don't have room to show it on the slide here. But add 6 over, divide by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Our unknown number must be positive, must be positive 3, because 2 times positive 3 is positive 6. And positive 6 plus negative 6 equals 0. Um, OK, so then it must be a chromium-3 ion. So we'll write this as chromium-3 oxide. Okay, last example, AGI, silver iodide. Remember, silver doesn't have multiple oxidation states, so even though it's a transition metal, it's one of those ones that's always plus one. So we don't have to write silver one. Uh, that's just the answer is just silver iodide. Okay, go ahead and try the practice problems, and then if you have any questions, let me know.